Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on uh, two different masks that I just recently got in. It is from the 2007 uh, movie of the same name, Halloween. It is a Rob Zombie version. I've been waiting for these things to come out for a very long time. They must have just recently got the copyrights to them. And started making the masks in themselves. So we're going to be touching base on them. But what I want to do is I want to go through all the four masks that I have. I don't have the entire collection because I'm not a super big fan of the masks themselves. Some of them are a little hinky looking in my opinion. And there's only certain ones that I do like. Like the 1978 one, the 2018, and the 2007. I do want to get the Halloween 2, the Dick Warlock mask. But I want to get a really good one. Because that one in itself is very cool looking. Uh, but the other ones, they're, they're a little hinky for me. So I don't totally collect all the masks. So what you're seeing right now is the 2018 version. As you can see, a lot of people repaint theirs. This one here is a little heavy when it comes to the gray strokes. Uh, it looks not so much old, but it seems like it's overly used in paint. And this one has a decent amount of hair on it. Well, you'll notice in the 2007 ones, we'll go into it. Uh, the hair is like a little spotty in some aspects. And it seems a little different. Like, I'm going to show you the 1978 version. That one has got completely different hair than the other ones, these other three. They're very similar in nature, but the 1978 one, that one is a little different. It's darker than these other ones. These other ones have, you know, familiar colors, like a very light brown. This one here is more along the lines of a dark brown for the 1978 version. You'll see that in a second. But anyway, this is the uh, 2018 version, and you'll see there is some uh, uh, visible... Uh, see-through they're very thin in some areas in the way trick-or-treat studios deals with their masks But when it comes to the exact molds to them, they do a really good job on them Sometimes their paint schemes are a little bit hit and miss now you'll notice in all the masks I do have the eyes actually blackened out. I take some blackened uh, material Put it in uh, across the eyes and then I stuff it with my uh, plastic and it seems to stay in place for the most part because I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to wear these masks they're just more for show, show and tell. So that's what we're doing right now. This is the 2018 version. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it out to the 1978 version. All right, and you'll notice in this one here that it does have the little hole in the neck. From when it, uh, I think it was Halloween 2 when he got stabbed in the neck in the hospital with, uh, by uh, Jamie's character. Uh, but it, it does have the hole there. So, but anyway, let's get into this next mask. Which is the 1978 one. Now you'll notice it's like literally untainted weather-wise or age-wise. It is completely white. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, because this mask is a little bit bigger than the other ones. It's kind of lower this down a little bit. There we go. And you'll notice that the hair is really, really thick on this one here. I mean, it's extremely thick. It's thick up on the top and everything. Um... It's dark, so it's a little off-putting for me, but maybe that's what the 1978 uh, mask looks like when he first started wearing it. I mean, you know, the movie in itself is old, so the color is a little bit uh, degraded as compared to today's uh, colors. Uh, but for the most part, it is a pretty decent-looking mask, with the exception of the off-putting real dark color. Okay, But anyway, this is the 1978 Trick or Treat Studios version of Michael Myers mask, the very original one as we speak. And it's based on the William Shatner um, mask that they actually uh, uh, made. Um, or actually, yeah, they made it for the stores. And it was a Halloween prop. And apparently they just, just grabbed one of them from the store and kind of repainted it. And that's what you get. Okay. But that's the 1978 version. So now what we're going to do is move on to the other two. All right. All right. Let me get this out of the way here, because I don't have, I got pumpkins I got to deal with in the next video, so I got a total of four of them. So the entire table is crowded with masks and pumpkins. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the 1995 murder mask, no, 92 murder mask, sorry about that. That's when young Michael Myers, hang on, let me just kind of straighten out, see, his hair is a little hinky on this thing, all right. And when I first got that, I was like, oh, this hair is like totally matted and stuff like that. i got to pull it apart and do something with it. 
Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to leave it the way it is. But I, I do got to redress it. I tried to do it earlier, but it just didn't work out right. As you can see, the hair, okay, is a little thinner in some spots. They didn't put that much hair on this one here. This is the 1992 murder mask that young Michael Myers picks up off the floor. And I think he did it just prior to cutting the stepfather's throat. Or I think he, like it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I think he went upstairs and killed his sister and then came back down and got the mask. Or vice versa. I think it was vice versa. He found it on the floor. And I think it was the, uh, the boyfriend who had wore that mask. And he just simply picked it up and went upstairs and did his thing. Okay. But anyway, I've been waiting for this particular um, mask. As well as this next one, which is I believe is 15 years later. I'm not sure what they want to call that one there. But the coloration and the texture of it, it is completely different than this one here. Which I'm going to show you here in a second. So, I just want to give you a close-up look of this particular mask, okay? Alright, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to pull this back a wee bit, okay? And give you a close-up look. Alright, now as you can see... The actual mask, as compared to the 1978, is based on a new mold, and I think it's Tyler Maine's face, which to me looks rather wicked looking, sinister looking. Okay, it's very masculine looking. Okay, but a lot of people didn't like that movie, and that that rule applies to all the franchises. Uh, if they reboot or do something different with them, they automatically seem to want to hate these movies. Like Freddy Krueger 2010, A Nightmare on Elm Street. I enjoyed that movie. It had a darker tone than any of the other movies. But I did like the movie. Jackie Earl Haley. As far as I'm concerned, he did a great job in that movie. But a lot of people didn't like it because it was different. It didn't have um, Robert Englund in it. The same rule applies to Hellraiser. When it comes to uh, Doug Bradley, he had different characters doing Pinhead. Now, the latest one for that one was a female, and I think that was a really good movie in my opinion. But um, Clyde Barker ended up getting the copyrights back uh, from, I think, Dimension Films, the American distribution rights for the films, and that's why he re uh, released that Hellraiser movie. And that was a good movie, okay? Most of the American releases in that movie, they got really stupid after a while. But anyway, this is... The 1992 murder um, mask, okay? As you can see, that they're very similar qualities to the 78. It's got the scar on the side. As you can see, the ear. They should put a piercing right here on his ear. I'm just kidding. Now I'm going to show you the thinness of the hair here. Let's see if I can hold this. Now, up towards the top here. All right, as you can see, it's a little baldy in there. Okay. Yeah, there you see it. Right there. Okay, now that's where you got to watch it and kind of just pull it back a little bit. And it does get a little matted, but you got to play around with this in order for it to blend in and have a natural look to it. But anyway, this is the 1992 uh, Murder Mask, okay? I got both of them because, like I said, I've been wanting a 2007 version because it just simply looks cool. It's got a very masculine look. And Tyler Maine, when he actually does these particular movies, uh, he's like... Almost seven feet tall. He's like six foot eleven. Stare at that, buddy. Okay. And he looks very menacing. Again, people don't like the movie because it's different. All right. All right. Now you can see this one's a little fat. You more or less got it. You got to kind of pull it like that, so it looks like that a little bit. But I'll figure that part out. But anyway, let me turn this on. All right. Uh, this is. The 15 year later mask, I don't know what you want to call it, but that's where he was all grown up and he just escaped the uh, psych ward and he went back to the house and busted through the floorboards. Now, as you can see right here, okay, it is a little matted, like I said, it's kind of crazy looking. I got to work on that part, okay, all right, and you can see the top of the hair is like all kinds of crazy. And these are a bigger, bigger mass lengthwise in the face. Okay. All right. So yeah, it's, it's starting to decay because it's been in the floorboards for 15 years. I think it was the time. Uh, like I said, the hair in itself is thin in some spots because of the way they glued it in, and it's not as lengthy as the um, 
And this, the 78 version, that was like, he's like a hippie in that one. But this one's more matted, so I gotta kind of do something with that. The color in itself is completely different. I'm gonna show you what that is. As compared to the first one, which is the 92 Murder Mask. Okay, push you back. There you go. Now you see here, it's got a little decay to it. Again, the similar scar. All right. Now you get a close-up look of it. Now it's not realistic in nature, but it is. According to the decay factor, it's starting to crack. And there is another mask, maybe another two masks that come out that literally has the actual mask falling apart. All right. Now I didn't try these on. I should try one of these on, but I'm not going to mess with it because I'm pretty sure because they're bigger masks, they will fit a bigger head. Where these the 2018, uh, it was molded according to the actor who actually did uh, uh, the 2018, you know, the trilogy there. His head was extremely small compared to most people. And a lot of big head people like myself cannot wear those masks because they're just too tight. But they're good for displays. Okay. So it's got a lot of cracks and decay in it. The color, if you can see it, it's a little dingy. Only because, like I said, it's been harboring for 15 years. Okay. But like I said, when it comes to the, the whole fat head looking, okay, now that can be remedied by pretty much pulling these two parts together like so. And there you go. You got yourself a nice little tight fit, okay? But that's what I'm going to have to fix that part out. I might have to tape it or something. Who the hell knows? Back of the head, as you can see, is crazy looking. All right, I'm going to show you. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. See? You pull it apart here. It's got ball spots like up towards the top and stuff. You can't see it now, but. Yep. Anyway, long story short, these are my masks so far based on Michael Myers. Okay. Now, this is not based, this is probably a different continuity because according to the 1981 movie, Halloween 2, where he got, actually got punctured in the neck, you don't see that on these masks, okay? I guess this is a different Michael Myers, or it's a different reboot, or different origins, what it is. Okay? But that's it on these here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next video, which uh, pretty much shows you the many different pumpkins that I have. And we're going to talk about them next. I got the 2018 one. It is the smallest one of the bunch. Uh, it's got heart shapes in the eyes. And we'll put that up there for a second. And we're going to be talking about those pumpkins because I got a total of four of them. And I'm going to tell you a little interesting story about two of them, okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and end this here, okay? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos real soon here. I like the pumpkin ones. We're going to get into that next. You guys have yourself a good day.